Hey guys, welcome to Bridgewater Raritan High School. I'm one of your tour guides, Emma Semper. Let's go check out our high school. So my name is Theodore Silva. We are in the uh, the art hallway, just to the right of the main entrance. Uh, here we've got uh, the art classrooms where you can take classes like you know art, ceramics, crafts, etc., etc., etc. Here we also have our band room, and to our right, right over here is our um, orchestra room. So this is cafeteria A, or the big cafeteria. Um, in addition to the regular lunches that you'll be able to eat here, we also have a salad bar, a uh, snack bar over here. And to my right over here is the school store, where you can buy school memorabilia. <laughs> so this is Cafeteria B, the smaller of the two cafeterias you can choose to eat at here at BRHS. It's also where we hold uh, study halls and detention. Hey guys, so here I am in front of the entrance to the auditorium. We have things here from school plays to musicals and assemblies. It's also right across from Cafeteria A, or the big cafeteria. So still in the 100 building, all along this wall we have health classrooms where you learn uh, your driver's ed, you learn about pregnancy, and things like drug abuse, substance abuse. So this is the largest of our two uh, gymnasiums. Here is where we have uh, you know, basketball games, we hold gym class, and it's also where uh, pep rally is held. So this is the nurse's office, um, for just outside of one of the exits of the 100 building. Uh, the nurse's office is here for about everything you think the nurse's office should be here for, uh, but you're also called down every, uh, periodically to get your height and weight checked, and this is where you turn in your physicals if you plan on doing a sport. Um, just so you know, uh, if you plan on going to the nurse's office, you will need to pass from your teacher, otherwise they can't take care of you. Okay, so this is our canopy. Uh, it stretches all the way across the campus from the, uh, from the 100 buildings over here all the way over to the 800 buildings on there. Uh, you see on your left and right in numerical order you have you know, our 300 building, our 400 building. Um, this is sort of a roof to keep over us when it's very cold and rainy. Okay, so this is the 900 building. Uh, to my right over here, we have the main office, and then behind that, we have our attendance office. And then on my left side over here, this is the library, and uh, we're going to go check it out. Okay, so this is the, the library. Shh. Here is where you can come if you want to check out a book or use one of our uh, resource computers in here. Uh, there's a printer that you can use as well, uh, but you cannot come in here without a student ID and a pass from your teacher. Hi, I'm Maria Sullivan, and I'll be one of your tour guides today. Now, right now, I'm in the second half of the 900 building, and this is the guidance office. So right down that hallway is where you can meet with your guidance counselors. Now, also in this building, we have the Career Resource Center, and that is where you will have some in-school college tours. And right behind me on this wall, we have a lot of forms that you can come to pick up, including working papers, transcripts, and a bunch of stuff like that. Okay, so this is the 200 building. Uh, we have a bit of a mixed bag here as far as the buildings go. We've got a lot of uh, technical sort of classes, like, um, like we have our special ed classes, and then we have BRTV, computer repair, uh, cooking, etc., etc. Uh, so yeah, let's walk through the 200. So first up in the 200, we have the family child class, or the preschool, which is run by Ms. Rafel. Students will take the class and basically um, help out with the kids in the preschool and give lessons and have projects. So up next in the 200, we have here the fashion design room, where we have a bunch of sewing machines and you can make anything from purses to dresses and to even pajama pants. So here we are at the culinary arts classes, where there's applied culinary arts, uh, one and two and applied nutrition. Let's go see what's cooking. Hi, I'm Mrs. Streetwood and I teach culinary arts here at BRHS. We have lots of great classes that you can take. There's introductory culinary arts where you learn all the basic skills. Applied one where we do regional American cooking. You can learn about different international foods in applied two. And then there's a nutrition class where we focus on the healthy aspects of cooking. I'm getting ready to set up for a lab here. Students here cook about three days out of every week. And then one of the most fun parts is we get to eat. So thanks again for stopping by. So behind me, we have our own little corner of the school, the BRTV hallway. Um, and here we have classrooms for the media classes. Um, and we have our very own BRTV studio where we, you know, uh, film and produce and edit uh, shows that end up airing on uh, during homeroom and on live TV.
So this is the woodshop classroom. Uh, there's always a lot of noise coming from uh, inside of here. If you take our woodshop classes, you'll have the opportunity to build a clock, a rocking chair, a reindeer for the holidays. All right, so on this side here, we have a hallway. It's sort of all sorts of classrooms in there. We have some special ed classrooms and uh, computer repair classes. If you ever want to know how to take part a computer, put it back together. On this side over here, we have our electronics class. This is the 300 building or the business ed building. Uh, here you have a lot of electives to choose from like uh, keyboarding, intro to business, photo editing and web design and all sorts of things. Um, let's take a look at one of the classrooms. Uh, hi, my name is Mr. Weiland. I'm the academic internship coordinator in the uh, business department. Uh, we actually offer an internship program where uh, for seniors only, their seniors actually um, are dismissed from school shortly after noon and they report to an internship um, for the last two or three periods of the day and a little bit beyond. Um, but actually they, the students take a class with me during the day uh, where they will do business related topics. Hey guys, I'm in the 400 building, also known as the social studies building. We have core classes such as History 1, History 2, and World Civ 2. We also have some electives like global studies, pop culture, and psychology. Let's go check out a class. Hi, welcome to Bridgewater Iron High School. My name is Mr. Pianca. I'm a teacher here in the social studies department. Um, just a little bit about our course uh, courses. Uh, when you're coming into the high school, there's three courses you're gonna have to take in our department. It's World Civ, US 1, and US 2. Um, and we have a bunch of great teachers uh, teaching those. I teach US 2 myself. Um, that's uh, from the 1920s, roughly, to the present. Um, after you take your uh, core classes, there's also a bunch of electives that we offer here in the department, uh, anything from economics to human development, um, and we also have some full year AP courses that we offer as well. Um, this is the 400 building, that's the social studies building. Uh, so if you have any questions for uh, anybody in the building, teachers, we're all very friendly. You can just stop by and, uh, and, and knock on a door and we're more than happy to help you. Here I am in the 500 building, also known as the English building. Here we have basic English classes and also English electives, such as creative writing, uh, American film study, and lyrical poetry. Let's go check out a classroom. Hi, I'm Mr. Romanek. I teach lyrical poetry and senior lit here. Uh, lyrical poetry is a history of rock and roll class where we study a lot of different styles of music from the blues, hip hop, rock and roll, and we also do a lot of uh, songwriting in the class. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we cover a lot of different uh, genres of music and uh, you should definitely take the class. And Senior Lit, uh, we do a lot of discussions on philosophy, a lot of literature is uh, world-based. Uh, we look at uh, different uh, philosophies like existentialism, absurdism. Uh, it really is just a class to kind of challenge uh, people's beliefs and uh, morals and really get them hopefully to understand more about themselves throughout the year. So, hope to see you there. So right now I'm in the 600 building and this is our mathematics building where we have all of our math classes. Uh, let's go check out a class. Uh, my name is Mr. Hamilton, member of the mathematics department, 600 building. And I guess the number one bit of advice I would give to you guys is don't stress out over the little things. Uh, you're lucky to have a department that is usually more than willing to do more extra help than usual. So make sure you use your teacher's extra help hours before school or after school. Uh, most of you will be entering the mathematics building, either taking algebra or geometry. Uh, after that, you'll be taking Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, and some of you will hit the top, which is Calculus. Hey guys, Congratulations. I'm in the 700 building, also known as the World Language Building. Here we have Spanish, German, Chinese, French, Latin, and Italian. Uh, let's go check out a class. My name is uh, Senora Cordova. I am a Spanish teacher here at Bridgewater Raritan Regional High School. I currently teach Spanish 1 and Spanish 4. Um, I love teaching here. I think it's a great school. Here at the high school we have six different languages. We have Spanish, French, Italian, German, Chinese, and Latin. I work with a bunch of really great teachers and um, we have a great time teaching languages and we think you guys will have a great time learning them. Welcome to the 800 building or the science building. Uh, here you can take uh, required classes like chemistry and biology and it's also home to a number of science electives like environmental science, forensics, and marine biology. Uh, let's take a look at one of the classrooms. Hi, I'm uh, Mr. Monselsi. I teach in the science department. I'm actually an academic chemistry teacher. and. Uh, 
one of the things we try and do in chemistry class is we try to understand what the world around us is made up of and how it changes. So basically the whole focus of our course is understanding that everything is made up of atoms and how these atoms interact determines a lot of the things that go on in our world. So it's a hands-on class. We try and do a lot of lab activities uh, so people can kind of get a feel for what chemistry is like instead of like just listening and talking about chemistry because I always feel like everything is better when you learn by doing it as opposed to learn by listening it. So like I said, I'm Mr. Moncelsi. I teach all academic chemistry and Hopefully you guys have a great experience here at Bridgewater Raritan Regional High School. So here I am in the 1000 building. Upstairs we have the 2000 building. Here on the BRHS campus, this is the newest building. It's also the only building with two levels. In here we have the main office and various classrooms ranging from math to social studies and to world languages. Let's go check out upstairs. Hey guys, here I am in the 2000, the upper wing of the 1000 building. Here we have physics classrooms, English classrooms, and health classrooms. Okay, so I'm standing in front of the field house and this building is mainly used for athletic purposes but sometimes gym classes will come in and use the weight room that we have in here and also inside here we have the locker rooms for our sports teams to use during practice. Uh, behind the field house we have the John Bazalone field which is our football field and track. Well guys that concludes our tour for today. Hopefully it helped out with any fear or stress that you guys had about the campus or the high school. We at BRHS are looking forward to seeing you next.